I thank the chair and I thank uh, the gentleman for yielding. According to the President's health care law, starting next year, any business that purchases more than $600 worth of goods and services from another business is required to submit a 1099 tax form to the Internal Revenue Service. I'm a strong supporter of job creation. However, I do not think building more bureaucratic barriers for small business and creating additional positions at the IRS is the kind of job growth this country needs. As Alan Myers, an electrician in my district, stated in a letter to my office, this is absurd. The small businessmen of this country have more paperwork than they can get done now. While we have a disagreed about the full repeal of the health overhaul law, the administration and many of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have recently decided they strongly agree with Republican members in Congress that the 1099 reporting provisions should be repealed. However, a few weeks ago, we received the President's budget, which would only repeal the 1099 requirement for goods, but keep it for services, a glaring contradiction to the President's stated strong support for the full repeal of this harmful provision. So I'm pleased that the, the House has chosen to move forward with the full repeal of this unprecedented burden on small business. Furthermore, if my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are truly serious about reducing waste, fraud, and abuse in our health care system, then they, too, can support this measure with full voice, since it is paid for by reducing overpayments of exchange subsidies. In this economic environment, Congress needs to be working to remove the barriers to job creation and finding ways to rein in the cost of health care, not imposing new government mandates to squeeze every dollar out of small business. While we await action from the Senate on H.R. 2, the full repeal of this health care overhaul, I urge my colleagues to vote in support of H.R. 4 today to fix one of the many flaws in the President's health care law. I yield back.